Welcome to the journey through the cosmos. Today we're diving into the mysteries of the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. This celestial body, named after the Roman deity known for speed, holds the position of being the smallest planet in our solar system. A tiny gem, it's nestled closer to our star than any other planet. Despite its proximity to the sun, it's not the hottest planet, but it does boast extreme temperatures swinging wildly between scorching heat and freezing cold. Its surface, punctuated by craters and scarps, tells tales of its turbulent past. Mercury's thin atmosphere, or rather the lack thereof, and its interaction with solar winds, make it a unique world to explore. As we embark on this journey, prepare to uncover fascinating facts about the swift-footed planet. Born from the dust of the early solar system, Mercury has a tale as old as time itself, the formation of this fascinating planet is a journey that takes us back to the very birth of our solar system, around four and a half billion years ago. During this turbulent era, countless particles of dust and gas swirled around the young sun, gradually clumping together to form larger and larger bodies. Among these was Mercury, the smallest planet in our celestial family. The composition of Mercury is quite unique, setting it apart from its planetary siblings. It's a rocky world like our own Earth, but with a twist. Mercury possesses an oversized metallic core that makes up about 65% of its total mass. This core is primarily composed of iron, a remnant of the planet's fiery birth. Surrounding this massive core is a thin mantle of silicate material. This mantle, while modest compared to those of other terrestrial planets, is responsible for the planet's diverse surface features, which we'll delve into later. This combination of a large metallic core and a thin rocky mantle gives Mercury its distinct personality in our solar system. But what about the rest of the planet's composition? Well, Mercury's surface is strewn with a variety of metals and minerals. Iron, titanium, and magnesium are among the most abundant elements, giving the planet's surface its characteristic dark, grayish hue. Traces of sodium, potassium, and other volatile elements can also be found, a surprising fact, given Mercury's close proximity to the Sun and its intense heat. In addition, Mercury's surface is scarred by countless craters, a silent testament to the intense bombardment it has endured over billions of years. These craters reveal a complex history of impacts and give us a window into the violent past of our solar system. Mercury, a rocky metallic world, stands testament to the violent processes that shaped our solar system. Its formation and composition provide a unique perspective on how planets are born and evolve over time, reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe we inhabit. Despite being the smallest planet in our solar system, Mercury is no less intriguing. Its size is only about one-third of Earth's and it's even smaller than some of the largest moons in our solar system. Yet, what it lacks in size, it makes up for in density. Mercury is the second densest planet after Earth, owing to its substantial iron core. The core, which takes up nearly three-quarters of the planet's radius, is surrounded by a mantle of silicate material. Now let's talk about the fascinating surface of this tiny planet. Mercury's surface is a lunar-like landscape covered in craters, plains, and scarps. The craters formed by billions of years of meteor impacts vary in size, with the largest one, the Caloris Basin, spanning a whopping 1,300 miles across. That's roughly the size of Texas. The plains on Mercury are akin to the lunar Maria, but they differ in one crucial aspect. They are thought to have formed from volcanic activity, with the lava flowing across the surface and solidifying. These volcanic plains give Mercury its smooth areas, contrasting sharply with the heavily cratered regions. Then we have the scarps or cliffs dotting Mercury's surface. These enormous cliffs, some towering over a mile high and stretching hundreds of miles, are believed to have formed as the planet's interior cooled and contracted, causing the surface to wrinkle up. And let's not forget the spider. This peculiar structure, located at the center of the Caloris Basin, is a network of cracks and ridges, unlike anything we see on any other planet. It's thought that this spider was formed when the area rebounded from the impact that created the Caloris Basin. From its iron core to its scarred surface, every inch of mercury tells a story. 
Each crater, plane, and scarp is a testament to the planet's violent and active past, painting a picture of a world that, despite its small size, holds a wealth of information waiting to be discovered. Mercury's thin atmosphere and close proximity to the sun make for a world of extremes. Imagine a place where the temperature can swing from a frigid negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit to a scorching 800 degrees all in a single day. That's right, we are talking about the same place, Mercury. Unlike Earth that boasts a dense atmosphere, Mercury has only a tenuous one, often referred to as an exosphere. It's so thin that it's almost non-existent. This exosphere is composed primarily of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. These atoms are blasted off the planet's surface by solar radiation, creating a thin, gaseous envelope around the planet. But what does a minimal atmosphere mean for Mercury? Firstly, it means that the planet has little to no weather, unlike Earth with its winds, clouds, and precipitation. It also means that there's no substantial barrier to protect the surface from meteor impacts, which is why Mercury is heavily cratered. Now let's talk about Mercury's extreme temperatures. If you think a desert on a hot summer day is unbearable, Mercury's daytime temperature will have you rethinking your definition of hot. The planet's surface can heat up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit when it's closest to the sun. That's hot enough to melt lead. On the flip side, when night falls on Mercury, the absence of an insulating atmosphere allows the heat to escape back into space, causing the temperatures to plummet. The dark side of Mercury isn't just chilly, it's downright cold, reaching as low as negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. The drastic temperature variation between day and night is largely due to Mercury's thin atmosphere. Unlike Earth, where our thick atmosphere helps distribute the sun's heat evenly around the planet, Mercury's minimal atmosphere offers no such luxury, leading to these extreme temperature swings. On Mercury, one can experience the best of both worlds the scorching heat and the freezing cold. It's a planet of extremes all thanks to its thin atmosphere and close proximity to the sun. Mercury's dance around the sun is as unique as the planet itself. Orbiting our star at a mere 36 million miles away, Mercury completes a full revolution every 88 Earth days. But its rotation, the time it takes to spin on its axis, is a bit more peculiar. For every two orbits around the sun, Mercury spins on its axis three times. This three two resonance, as it's called, results in a day-night cycle that lasts 176 Earth days. Imagine that, a single day on Mercury is twice as long as its year. This peculiar rotation also has a profound impact on the planet's surface temperature. One side of Mercury basks in the sun's intense heat for an extended period, causing temperatures to soar up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, the other side remains in darkness, with temperatures plummeting to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's shift gears to some of the missions that have helped us gain insights into this fascinating planet. NASA's Mariner 10 was the first spacecraft to visit Mercury in the mid-70s. It provided our first close-up images of the planet, revealing a heavily cratered surface resembling our moon. Fast forward to the 21st century, NASA's Messenger mission, an acronym for Mercury Surface, Space Environment, Geochemistry, and ranging orbited Mercury for four years. It unveiled a world of surprises, from evidence of volcanic activity to the discovery of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at the planet's poles. These missions, and others like them, continue to peel back the layers of mystery surrounding Mercury. They reveal a world that is both familiar in its similarity to our moon and yet alien in its close proximity to the sun. Each mission, each discovery, brings us one step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Thanks to NASA's missions, we continue to unravel the enigma that is Mercury. Mercury, a world full of surprises, even boasts ice in the shadowy depths of its craters. Yes, you heard that right. Water ice on the planet closest to the sun. The discovery of water ice in Mercury's polar regions was nothing short of a cosmic contradiction. Hidden within the eternally shadowed craters, this ice is shielded from the sun's scorching rays. The presence of water ice, a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it, compels us to rethink our understanding of where life could potentially exist. Now let's talk about Mercury's interaction with the solar wind. 
Unlike Earth, Mercury doesn't have a substantial atmosphere to protect it from the sun's outflow of charged particles, the solar wind. This solar wind is so potent that it strips away atoms from Mercury's surface, forming a tail-like structure that extends away from the sun. Just imagine a planet with its own comet-like tail. And as we venture deeper into our solar system, we find that each planet is a world unto itself, presenting unique features and phenomena. So how does Mercury compare to its planetary neighbors? Well, like Venus, Earth, and Mars, Mercury is a terrestrial planet, meaning it's composed mainly of silicate rock and metal. But that's where most similarities end. Mercury is the smallest of the bunch, and unlike Earth and Mars, it lacks a substantial atmosphere. This lack of a protective blanket results in extreme temperature swings, unlike anything we experience on Earth. And while Venus is known for its runaway greenhouse effect, Mercury's proximity to the Sun makes it the hottest planet in our solar system during the day. Mercury's interaction with the solar wind is also unique. While Earth's magnetic field deflects most of the solar wind, Mercury's weaker field allows for a much more direct interaction. This results in the formation of that fascinating tail we discussed earlier. Despite its harsh conditions, Mercury continues to challenge our understanding of planetary science. It's a testament to the diversity of our solar system, a place where ice can exist mere steps away from the sun's blazing heat, and a tiny planet can sport its own comet-like tail. Mercury, it seems, is full of surprises. The story of Mercury's creation remains an intriguing puzzle for scientists. Various theories have been proposed, each offering a unique perspective on the formation of the smallest planet in our solar system. One such theory suggests that Mercury was once a larger planet that experienced a catastrophic collision, stripping away much of its outer layers. This could explain why Mercury's core is disproportionately large for its size. Another theory proposes that intense solar radiation from the young Sun vaporized the lighter elements on Mercury's surface, leaving behind a planet of mostly heavy metals. This is known as the Solar Nebula Theory. Yet another explanation is the giant impact theory, which proposes that a massive body struck Mercury, causing it to lose most of its original crust and mantle. This event, the theory suggests, resulted in the dense iron-rich world we see today. These theories, while varied, all align with our current understanding of planetary formation. They provide valuable insights into the dynamic processes that shaped the solar system billions of years ago. Looking ahead, the exploration of Mercury promises to be an exciting frontier in space science. Future missions like the European Space Agency's Bepi Colombo aim to gather more data about Mercury's composition, geological history, and magnetic field. Such missions could provide crucial clues to better understand the planet's origin and evolution. There is also the tantalizing possibility of discovering more about the presence of water ice in Mercury's polar regions. Could this ice hold the key to understanding the potential for life on other planets? Or might it offer insights into the history of water in our solar system? The mysteries of Mercury are vast, and we've only just begun to scratch the surface. With every new mission, with every new piece of data, we come one step closer to unraveling the secrets of this fascinating planet. The mysteries of Mercury await the next generation of explorers. As our journey draws to a close, let's recap the fascinating world of Mercury. We've traversed the innermost planet of our solar system, discovering its unique composition of metals and minerals, and delving into its intriguing formation in the early days of our cosmic neighborhood. We've measured Mercury against its siblings, noting its diminutive size yet complex structure. We've traced the scars and craters on its surface, each a testament to its tumultuous geological history. We've also grappled with its extreme conditions, from its wafer-thin atmosphere that barely clings to the planet, to its wild temperature swings capable of boiling and freezing in the space of a single Mercurian day. Our journey took us along Mercury's unique orbit and we've watched as it spins in a dance that's uniquely its own, with its rotation synchronized to its journey around the Sun. We've also followed in the footsteps of NASA's Messenger mission, appreciating the valuable insights it has brought to our understanding of this enigmatic planet. We've touched on the surprising discovery of water ice in the searing heat of the planet closest to the sun, 
and explored how Mercury interacts with the solar wind, creating a tail-like structure as it plows through the solar system. We've compared Mercury to its inner planet siblings, Venus, Earth, and Mars, underlining the features that make it stand out in the planetary lineup. We've examined various theories about Mercury's formation, each shedding light on the mysteries of planetary formation. And we've looked ahead to the future, anticipating the exciting discoveries that await us as we continue to explore this intriguing world. As we wrap up, remember that our understanding of Mercury, like all knowledge, is a work in progress. Every new mission, every new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the complexities of our universe. So I encourage you to keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep exploring. Remember, the cosmos is full of wonders, waiting to be discovered. Until next time, keep exploring.